Kakashi's face, we might actually see it. So we recently got a new interview from Masashi Kishimoto about Naruto, its future, and some plans that he has, as well as some commentaries regarding the series. This interview was in Viz's Weekly Shonen Jump, the US one, so if you don't have that one already, you definitely might want to subscribe to their uh, service, because you get the chapters and you get extra bonus content like this, like an interview straight from the source, uh, Masashi Kishimoto himself. Now with this interview, we got a couple of different things that necessarily weren't all that big, like he talked a little bit about how Konohamaru might make a good Hokage and how he hasn't had his honeymoon yet and it's like 10 years too late. So there was information that was like, oh, okay, interesting tidbits. But then there was actually a couple of interesting things in there that was like, whoa. So first of all, apparently they asked him regarding Kakashi's face, will we ever see the man behind the mask? And he actually revealed that as of right now, he doesn't have any structured plans yet. However, he does want to reveal his face, possibly either in the manga or in an upcoming film of Naruto. I think it would be a lot more impactful if you put it like in a film because first of all that would be like yo I want to see this film see what, what leads to him taking off the mask but at the same time it also would add to the manga as well because that's something we waited for a while so either way I feel as though it would be good either if it's in the manga or in a movie a movie would make it like oh shit you know I want to watch this movie see what Kakashi looks like or whatever but at the same time also you kind of it would be good for the manga as well and kind of wrap things up. Unless they make the movie 100% canon to the manga, then I'd be fine with that as well. But another thing that caught my eye was they asked him about, you know, the future and what he plans to do and whatnot. And he pretty much said, you know, something he'd been saying for a while that he's planning to end Naruto really soon. Naruto's coming to the end very soon. However, what he said as well kind of made me feel like, damn, so there really ain't going to be no part three. There's no possible thing. He said he plans to end the story conclusively very soon. So pretty much there's probably no chance that we're going to get some sort of uh, spin-off or some sort of, you know, time skip again. I believe that this is truly the end. And as sad as it is, because, you know, Naruto is one of my favorites and a lot of people's favorites, uh, you know, every, every good story, I guess, has to come to an end. So it's unfortunate, but it seems that way that he's really not planning any other time skip or anything because he said he's going to end it conclusively, which means, you know, no loose ends, no doubts, no anything. And it is what it is. It's sad, but at the same time, it does have to come to an end at some point. It's been going on for years and years, over a decade. So, mixed feelings regarding that. And last but not least, he said after Naruto ends, he might do something new, probably a new series or something along the lines of that. And I'm curious as to what he would do, because if you've seen any of his other works, he did Mario, which was like some very serious mafia type of manga, and that was actually pretty enjoyable. And I'm curious, what type of series would he do after Naruto? If he already did like, you know, one of the most popular shonens of all time, I'd imagine and he'd probably want to do something a little bit more darker and grittier, probably. And I'm curious if it will be shown in Shonen Jump or not. But regardless of what, first of all, the whole thing with Kakashi's mask coming off, I'm glad that we're finally going to see him at some point, whether it be in the manga or in a movie. He said he has no plans as of right now, but he wants to do it. So I'd imagine he's going to do it before Naruto ends. Also, the whole thing with him ending it conclusively, it sucks. But every good thing has to come to an end at some point, and Naruto falls along the lines of that as well. And while I would love for Naruto to go on for years to come, um, it's probably going to end without any time skip or anything like that, unless maybe the studio does like a Dragon Ball GT type of thing for Naruto, which I highly doubt they will. It's probably going to end. This is it. But let me know what you guys think. First of all, Kakashi's Revelation, would you prefer it to happen in the manga or in some big new Naruto movie where it's like all about Kakashi and his mask comes off or some big revelation about him? Also, what do you think would be interesting as to why he wore the mask aside from, of course, him being in the Anbu and all that stuff? Do you think that there would be a particular reason? Maybe there's some sort of seal on his face that he wants to hide? Your thoughts and feelings regarding Naruto pretty much ending conclusively. There won't be any type of time skip. And also, if Masashi Kishimoto did some sort of new manga would you read it or it's just really depending or like he's that much of your favorite author that you would go with it i would definitely give it a chance no matter what it is uh, I would at least give it a read. If I like it, then, you know, I'd keep going. If not, of course, I'd stop. But I would definitely give the man a chance. I mean, he gave me 600 chapters of entertainment, over 600 chapters of entertainment. So i give him a shot. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you can't wait to hopefully see Kakashi's mask come off, unmask. We've been waiting a long time for this one. Let's just hope he doesn't have the big buck teeth or the big lips that we saw in that one filler episode. I'm Fenebo World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.